Honestly, every player should want to be a better defender because football is a two-way game. If you're only playing attack, you're only playing half the game, you're only half the player that you should be. So this tutorial is for defenders specifically, but every player should watch this because it's very important. So I just want to give you a couple ideas on improving defending and I want you to try these ideas in your training and in your games and see if they work for you. Okay, the first idea I want you to think about is reading the game rather than anticipating. So let's say you're a defender. Okay, we're focusing on these players here, our back four. So let's say you're a defender. Okay, what most players do is, let's say that the ball is played to here, Okay, what they do is they watch the ball, when it gets there, they react. A good defender anticipates the play. So they see this player with the ball, they know he wants to play into here, they start anticipating the play, so when the pass is played, they can intercept the ball. So I want you to start getting in the habit of trying to be ahead of the play. When this player has the ball, or any player on the field has the ball, where do they want to play the ball next? Okay, where does he want to go? If I know he wants to come outside here, I'm going to anticipate that and try to cover my defender. If I know that he wants to play the ball into here, I'm not going to react, I'm going to anticipate. So when that pass comes in, I can intercept or at least be really close when this player receives the ball. Okay, so think about that, anticipating rather than reacting. Okay? Next thing I want you to think about is being there early. And what I mean by that, I'm just going to move my team up the field here a bit. Okay, what I mean by that is, let's say that this midfielder has the ball and they want to play into their striker here. Okay, again, it's about anticipating, but most players, the ball's played in here and then they close, okay? If you watch good defenders, every time this ball is played into the striker's feet, they are there as it comes, okay? So that starts with anticipating, but it starts with wanting to be there early. Okay, so anticipate the play. When he receives this ball, I want you to be here on his ass, okay? If you're not here, if you're too slow, what that does is gives him time to turn, and then we can start, players can start making runs forward, maybe plays a ball into here, okay, and we're getting hurt. So try to be there early or be there at the time that the ball arises, if not before. Okay, so when it's there, you have to be there. Think about that, and again, it starts from anticipating. The other thing I want you to think about is cutting off passing angles as you're closing a player down. Okay, so let's look at the fullback here. Let's say this player has the ball, the fullback's coming to close down. Okay, so what I would do in this situation is instead of running here, because if I run straight at him, what's going to happen here? A quick one-two, and he's around me. Okay, so what you want to think about without being too, without cutting yourself off too much, is cutting down passing angles as you close players down. Okay, so instead of running straight at him like this, I want to try to come out like this. If you okay. want 12 weeks of in-depth coaching covering every area of player development, daily follow-along training routines to improve your skills, fitness, and confidence, 12 weeks of professional match analysis, and access to every advanced course I've created in the past, check out the link in the description below. Okay, obviously I have to be light on my feet and ready to react because I'm showing him down the line. So I want to be able to stay with him if he goes down the line. But what I'm doing here is I'm cutting off this passing angle. So really this is only giving him one, one real option, okay? He's gonna take it down the line. So because I know that, I'm gonna have a better chance of tackling him or at least keeping him in front of me. So I'm closing down the pass as I'm closing down the defender. So let's say he does get there. Worst case scenario, he goes down the line and I stay with him or he turns and plays back and hopefully my other teammates are coming across the field to close down the space. Okay, let's look at it from the, another defender's perspective, from the center half's perspective. Okay, let's say that this player has the ball in here. 
Okay, I want to close them down, yes, but am I cutting off passing angles? Now, it's very hard to defend by yourself, so hopefully your teammates are coming to help out. But I want to think about cutting off this passing angle as I close down. Even more so, let's say you're in a like a two-on-one like this, a really tough situation. Okay, here. Now, these guys should have the advantage because they can play a little one too, especially if I'm running straight at him like this. But what I want you to think about is, okay, he's coming at me. Can I cut off this angle at least a bit and then close him down? So instead of running straight at him, can I cut off this pass a little bit, even if it's just a couple steps in this direction to make him hesitate? And then I'm going to close down, try to win that ball off him, or at least force him to turn and play backwards. Okay? Another thing, last idea I want to think about, and I always talk about this when I talk about defending, is close down the players quickly, okay? So if this ball, let's say that there's a midfielder, or there are midfielders on the ball, he plays this ball out here. This is the same thing as coming early with the center backs. Don't let him turn. Okay, if when I can, I want to close quickly, but I want to stay on my feet, okay? If you're closing, you're trying to tackle right away, a lot of times all it takes is a little touch inside and he's around you. Okay, what you will find is if you stay on your feet, I get there quick, but I don't necessarily have to make the tackle. I just have to stay in front of him. Okay, instead of lunging for it and having him go past you, make him beat you with good skill. And if you stay on your feet, you move laterally, side to side quickly. Okay, you just stay in front of him, stay in front of him. I get there quick and then I stay in front of him, force him to beat me. Make him make a good move, okay? And then when he does show too much of the ball, yes, I'll come and win it, and I'll keep possession for my team just like that, okay? So think about those four things. Practice reading the game rather than, or anticipating rather than reacting. Think about being there early, especially when the striker receives the ball. I don't want to let him turn. I want to be there right as he receives the ball. If not, or even if I can, I want to sneak in and win possession of that ball. I want to think about cutting off the passing angles as I'm closing down players, okay? So I'm not running straight at him. I'm trying to cut off another passing angle at least a bit as I close him down to cut his options down. And think about closing down quickly, but staying on your feet, forcing him to actually beat you rather than you lunging in and you beating yourself.